Welcome to What's New in Burbank. Personnel literally from around the world. The steps of Burbank City Hall took on an international flavor during the Special Olympics torch run ceremony on Wednesday, July 22nd. The flame was passing through Burbank on its way to the Los Angeles Coliseum for the opening ceremonies of the Special Olympics World Games on July 25th. More than 7,000 athletes from more than 175 countries will have competed by the end of the nine-day event. The Burbank community served as a host town for more than 80 people who made up delegations from Botswana and Zimbabwe. On Thursday night, Worth Real Estate Group hosted a community party at the Starlight Bowl which featured a free concert that was open to the public. Delegates from Botswana added to the celebration with a traditional performance from their home country. The next morning, the community said its goodbyes during an emotional farewell ceremony at Woodbury University, which had generously housed the delegations for three nights before heading off to Los Angeles to compete in the World Games. The always popular downtown Burbank Car Classic rolls into town on Saturday, August 1st from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. 200 classic cars will be on display along San Fernando Boulevard and adjacent streets on six blocks of beautiful downtown Burbank's shopping, dining, and entertainment district. Stop by from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. and enjoy family entertainment, music, vendor booths, and prizes. The Downtown Burbank Car Classic on Saturday, August 1st. The annual National Night Out will be taking place the first Tuesday night in August. It's a nationwide event that encourages all neighbors to step out and get to know one another. National Night Out takes place from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the rear parking lot of the Police and Fire Headquarters located at 200 North 3rd Street. More than a dozen city departments and organizations will have booths, games, and or demonstrations. After the festivities end in the headquarters parking lot, find one of the 20 or so block parties around the city of Burbank, where a neighborhood watch block captain will be your host. Those block parties might even get a friendly visit from the police. Downtown Burbank has a new hotel, the Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. Located within walking distance of downtown Burbank and just three miles from Burbank Bob Hope Airport. Hotel employees and community leaders were on hand recently for a ribbon cutting at 549 South San Fernando Boulevard. Those not familiar with the property were able to tour the stylish interior of the building, which offers countless fun and functional amenities. Three. This hotel has 170 suites and is officially called the Spring Hill Suites Los Angeles Burbank Downtown. The Spring Hill Suites brand was launched in 1998 and has more than 300 locations in the U.S. and Canada. Thanks to the generous residents and businesses in Burbank, the Bike Angels storage space is overflowing with bikes, which will be restored and donated to less fortunate kids during the 2015 holiday season. With their storage space filled to capacity, the Bike Angels are grateful but requesting that no more bikes be brought to the Recycle Center until next year. The Burbank Association of Realtors will be holding its annual Bike Angels Bike Drive in January 2016, and the Burbank Recycle Center will again accept used bikes from April 2016 to June 2016. Donation receipts will be available at both events. The Bike Angels wish to thank everyone who has generously donated their used bikes, helping to make 2015 a record year for the Bike Angels. So how's Burbank doing since Governor Brown's executive order on water use took effect on June 1st? Well, in the month of June, Burbank saved 152 million gallons of water on its way to reaching its June 2015 to February 2016 conservation goal called the Billion Gallon Challenge. Conservation efforts over the last two years have already decreased Burbank's water use by 7%. That still leaves another 21% or 1 billion gallons that must be saved over the next nine months. If Burbank fails to reach the mandated 28%, the state will fine the city $10,000 per day. To achieve this goal, Burbank City Council has implemented Stage 3 of the city's Sustainable Water Use Ordinance that began June 1st. Stage 3 requirements now limit landscape irrigation to two days per week, Tuesday and Saturday, 
expand a ban on landscape irrigation between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. that now prohibits hand watering during that time. Stage 3 also prohibits outdoor evaporative cooling devices or misters and requires all swimming pools, wading pools, and spas to be covered to decrease water evaporation. For more ways to save water outside and inside the home, go to BurbankWaterAndPower.com and click on the Water tab. There you'll find many programs and rebates that will help you save water and do your part so Burbank can meet the billion-gallon challenge. The Parks and Recreation Department has planned several family-friendly activities and events that let you stay in town and enjoy everything in one great place, Burbank. Here's a sneak peek into this summer's calendar of events. On Friday, August 14th, enjoy a fun night with family and friends at Dodger Stadium as the men in blue take on the Reds at the annual Burbank Dodger Night. And the annual Water Carnival on Saturday, August 15th, celebrates summer with games, races, and fun activities for the entire family. For more information about all the hot weather fun sponsored by the Burbank Parks and Recreation Department, go to burbankca.gov where you'll find a complete list of summer events and activities offered right here in Burbank. The Colony Theatre has announced its 41st season featuring five shows including a star-powered world premiere. The Colony, located in the Burbank Town Center, has produced award-winning live theatre for more than four decades. The new season kicks off July 25th with the West Coast premiere of The Fabulous Lipitones. This acclaimed play with music is followed by a true story drama about segregation in the South called The Best of Enemies, opening in September. In November, the colony presents the California premiere of Humble Boy. And after the new year, two world premieres, the new musical Another Roll of the Dice in February, and in April, legendary actress Patty Duke becomes Mary Lincoln, sharing stories and memories as the wife of Abraham Lincoln. For information on all these plays and how you can purchase season tickets, visit colonytheater.org. I'm Peter Maserlian, and this has been What's New in Burbank.